Well, hello there, YouTube. This is Tech Inner Steve, welcoming you back to the fourth episode of our Random Roll Zoo. Uh, for those of you just joining us in progress, the premise of the Random Roll Zoo is that we're using a random number generator to pick the number of the animal we're going to use, and we're going to just build any exhibit based on that animal comes up. So, for example, if we roll a three, we'd use animal number one, two, three, maybe this African black eagle here. Uh, so far, that randomly has given us a Darwin's Rhea exhibit, a Barrel exhibit, and last episode, we did an Indian vulture exhibit that kind of completes this little front area here. We're using that extra large map, so it starts you down in the corner. Now we're going to have to start turning around, and so in this build, uh, depending on the animal we get, we might also put in some, like some bathrooms and a snack area and things like that. Like it's a uh, coming into the zoo kind of point. Uh, I don't make more sets probably if I get to do it. Of course, that's all going to depend on the animal we get. So let's go ahead and randomly roll and see what number we generate. Number 338. All right, let me do a quick count. All right, scrolling through, so that takes us to 336, 337, 338. Looks like we've got more birds. Oh, we're actually going to get a great horn owl. Okay. I'm thinking of some things I can kind of do with a great horned owl. Um, yeah, and since that is going to let me do a smaller exhibit, that means my plans to kind of build, uh, like, uh, bathrooms and, uh, like maybe an information kiosk. Yeah, there's a few things there. So let me just take a quick bird's eye view. Aha, <laughs> bird's eye view. Great horned owl. I'm nailing this. Okay, so we want the guest pathway to kind of go back here, which means we can build, uh, build up here. Oh, we've got another bird exhibit here, too. Maybe we can link those together? Um, do I want to link those together? I'm thinking about it. No, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, curve it around here. Build our things up here. Build the great horned owl right here, and then we can have a pathway branching off. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. So we'll go ahead and switch into build mode, and I will see you on the other side. Um, I always pause right before I do that, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to screw it up. But no, I think this is going to work. I think it's going to work brilliantly, and uh, fingers crossed. Let's go to build mode.
All right, let's exit the film boat and take a walk through to see our new great owl exhibit. Great barn owl, I should say. Going through, da 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 da, all old hack. We've seen all this. It looks amazing, but we've seen it. So let's move on to our new. Ooh, look, we've got our info booth set up here uh, for guests visiting the zoo. We'll get in there real quick and ask one of the non-existent employees. I didn't bother to put them in because they'll just walk around and get in the way. But it's a nice little info booth there, and we should have a couple of well. Uh, bathrooms that technically would work if we had uh, if we opened up the zoo the sims in there should actually visit these stalls because they are working i actually learned uh this trick here for the mirrors if you just take a uh if you just take any of the signage flip it to the back side so it's just the white end it kind of makes it look like a mirror i saw that in another video and i'm blanking right now on where it comes from so i do apologize if i stole that from you didn't mean to it's a great idea now you get full credit let's go ahead though and move on to the main exhibit i probably spent more time actually working on the uh information kiosk in the bathrooms if so i apologize but they're good they're there let's go on to our wonderful great barn owl exhibit and in true fashion i made it look like a barn go ahead and take a look around here oh yep they're right up front and in fact i can see that the one that we had inside is already strutting its way out i'm gonna guess that uh yeah yeah that looks pretty good i actually really like this little barn design yes yes yeah came together pretty well again i do this without pre-planning for this video so i'm always a little impressed on the fact that i don't screw it up completely oh look it's even happy Yay! Oh, it's got the big teeth. It's it's bored into my soul. Let's move on into the zookeeper area here. Do 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 do. So we're gonna come around here. If we wanted to get to the barrel exhibit, we would take this ramp, of course. You may remember that from episode two. But we're going into the Great Horn now, which means we need to throw open this. Oh. Oh, I thought that the person inside here had taken some of the water or the food. Nope, looks like they shut it right out. So we do know that this is working. We got these three little cages, one for each of them, so we can keep them all separate in their own little malls. Um, and we should be able to both get into this area here so we can catch them if they're not going through all the way. And, of course, we can throw open the doors to go directly into the barn. Maybe need to throw down a little more hay to make it a little bit more comfortable for them, although they seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, the hay, of course, is just a uh, looking good thing. They don't really interact with it. So they're probably going to be pretty happy regardless of the fact that there's just a little bit of hay. But I think that's how a real exhibit would look. You want them to cover the whole thing. That's a really nice model. Um, I don't remember where I got it from. But uh, any of the models I have here you can find on the Zootaiku 2 download wiki. That link is in the, in the uh, comment. Not the comments. That look is in the link is in the description below. Clearly, I can no longer talk. I've had enough of this today. I'm going to go ahead and zoom on out so we can get an aerial look of the zoo. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please leave a like. Uh, I am posting infrequently, although I've been on a bit of tear the past day or so. So you'll probably get a bunch of videos in a row here. Um, either way, just go ahead and subscribe if you want to keep up and then click that little bell. and It'll give you a notification if you click the bell that lets you know when I post. I don't know if you're aware of that, but now you are. Anyway, that's Sue Tycooner Steve saying thank you and uh, goodbye.